Welcome to another edition of the Think About It podcast. I'm Russ Renaud, the Assistant Athletic Director here at Houston Christian University, and today I'm joined by senior middle blocker on the HCU volleyball team, Jada Allen. Mm -hmm. She is from DeSoto, Texas, and Jada, thanks so much for joining us today here on Think About It. Of course. And Jada, you are a fifth year senior on the volleyball team it, that makes you the senior member of the team. Mm -hmm. And how does it feel to be in that leadership role heading into your final season? It's a little wild thinking of how five years have already passed and um, the memories I've made here at HBU. Um, but it's amazing just the taking on the new younger girls, um, how we've all molded together, how we love playing together, and um, just showing them what HBU volleyball is all about. Right. And mm -hmm. Uh, I guess uh, before we go any further, the big news coming out uh, recently that, that the school is changing its name to Houston Christian University, mm -hmm. now HCU Volleyball, heading into to the rest of the season. Yeah. And just, you've been here four years undergrad, you already have a, a degree from Houston Baptist University, mm -hmm. and now you've been working on your master's degree, and now it's gonna, that one's going to be from Houston Christian University. And just uh, what are your emotions as, as that news came out and the identity of the university going forward? Um, it was a shock, but I'd say it's cool. It's an, an opportunity for the university to grow. You saw it earlier, you have two degrees on the wall with two different, yeah. you know, it's kind of, kind of interesting. <laughs> it's <gonna be laughs> crazy just to think that like the same university, but a little different, a little twist. <laughs> right. So, so that news coming out this week and, and um, as you said, heading into what you've wrapped up all non-conference play uh, to this point and now mm -hmm. getting into to conference, Southland Conference play. And just heading into that, as we're talking about your leadership role, uh, what are you expecting from, from this team as Southland Conference play begins? Um, growth. I think that's what we're expecting, just to be able to work together and achieve the goals we've set out um, for one another and as a team, as a whole. Um, and to be able to just look back and accomplish those things and I'd say have no regrets. I'm going to go out um, with my last year here at HCU mm -hmm. um, with a bang. That's right. what I'm hoping for. Yeah, and, and, and you, you've really seen uh, the program grow as you've also grown mm -hmm. as a player um, coming into your own. Uh, kind of that, that 2020 season, the, sh the COVID shortened season, uh, you had a spectacular year. You're an all conference performer that year. Um, and just started to see that this program reach a, another mm -hmm. level. Did you see it that, that spring? Yes, all of the hardships that the team has had to face um, since that season has been, and how they've overcame it is just wonderful and spectacular. And just to see that growth and mm -hmm. to see um, everyone like lock in and work together and just give it their all has been amazing and I'd say that was kind of like the starting point. Right, and you do talk about the hardships, um, mm -hmm. obviously with that season being shortened and then shortly thereafter, um, assistant coach Molly Howard Gerwig, she, she passed away, she was diagnosed with cancer right after that season. Uh, mm -hmm. She passed away a few months later, um, right in the middle of, of what was a, a really good 2021 season for the program. And mm -hmm. How was it working through that adversity and uh, just playing with that memory of Molly? Molly was so loved and she made such an impact on the team. Um, and I was so proud of the girls as a whole. Um, and Trent tells us this all the time because any team could have acted differently. Um, they could have separated. They could have um, just, it could have been, it could have gone a different route. And Trent sat us down and was like, do y'all want to push forward? Do y'all want to fight? in Molly's memory to to continue this season and we all bought in and it was it was pretty great so um, we did everything we and we do everything for Molly so right it's, it's very great. special to mm -hmm. see a team uh, fell a little bit short in the South Conference tournament but making the first NCAA tournament appearance following mm -hmm. the season was probably a, a great way to cap that mm -hmm, for sure and it was an uh, amazing trip, amazing memory. Uh, it fell short, but a great memory nonetheless. And heading into to this season, a, a lot of players returning, a lot mm -hmm. of key members returning, just basically every starter 
Um, and then now facing some adversity here early on. Um, all conference setter Ellie Whip. She's been out with an injury for for this whole season. And how's the team overcome it and, and regroup so far? The younger girls have really stepped up. Um, Ellie, I've played with Ellie for years, so it is different um, mm -hmm. having not having her on the court. But those our underclassmen have really stepped up with um, Grace and Molly. Um, taking on that role and jumping in and so it's been good it's been great just looks a little different but <laughs> it's been it's been a great ride mm -hmm. right and what is different about about this team this year as compared to teams before I think the number of underclassmen um, right now we're outnumbered <laughs> I'd say and how everyone's stepping up mm -hmm. how there's not kind of like an older girl or a younger girl like there's everyone voicing their opinions calling huddles um, really um, bringing out the best in everybody mm -hmm. and pushing for the best so I think that's I think that's great for, that's right. different mm -hmm. and uh, you yourself and uh, Ellie with and Anna Gadway and Kaylee Ferris you've kind of been the, the core mm -hmm. uh, of this team so far but you have had a lot of people that, that stepped up and and taken what they learned as freshmen and are now you know contributing in big ways yeah. uh, Sarah Arroyo and mm -hmm. and just Tatiana Evans and, and just players stepping up into their own and is that something you see through this program that, that that's the way that this this program operates mm -hmm. you know as a whole under Trent Herman for sure like um, coming into college it can be a lot it can your game of volleyball can change so many ways you have to take on new styles um, and just to see all of those girls grow mm -hmm. and um, accomplish certain things or to see the spark when they finally um, figure out how to do something that Trent's implemented it's it's great and so I think everyone's been fast learners and it's just been fun to see everyone grow. And in, in your fifth year about your what about your personal growth from from when you you came on campus as you were mm -hmm. a player and now I just see more confidence out of you and, and now where are you now here in your fifth year? Well when I came on um, to HCU I was an outside hitter. <laughs> a lot has changed. Um, I did not expect my career to go this way. I didn't expect to become a middle blocker. Um, I was as shocked as anyone when Trent sent me down with the idea of um, changing positions, but it's been great. I mm -hmm. love the role. Um, it took a good off season to figure it out, <laughs> but it's been, a, it's been amazing. And um, yeah, I, I've loved every bit of it. Um, for, I, the difference in every team and how every team throughout the years has worked and um, every personality that's con mm -hmm. contributed and um, those gone and those new, it's just, it's been a, a good ride the past five years. So I'm excited um, to see this year play out. Right. Mm -hmm. And I also have a new assistant coach, and she's a, a, an old face to, yeah. to people who've been around this university. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Kayla Armour is going into the Hall of Honor very soon here mm -hmm. at HCU. And what's it been like to have her uh, on staff this year with somebody who's been there before? Kayla is loved. Everyone <laughs> on the team loves her. Um, she's, I think, the perfect fit for the program because she has been in our shoes quite literally um, under Trent. She um, is so relatable, but she can put her foot down and tell us what we need to do and um, how we're gonna accomplish certain things while motivating us. Um, I think she's a great person to lean on. Um, she's an open ear and I've loved, I've loved, absolutely <laughs> loved having her on the program. Right, and let's talk about when you were growing up in DeSoto and, and mm -hmm. you know, Jada 6'1", you can't tell by, with her sitting down, but... Um, a big girl. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> but you, you played a lot of sports, and so mm -hmm. talk about that transition from, from playing a lot of things to, to you know, just focusing on, on volleyball. Mm -hmm. um, my parents have had me in everything that I could think of since um, I was little, three years old, ballet, tap dance, I did swimming, soccer, um, tra I ran track for mm -hmm. six, seven years, um, and 
at the age of 14, my parents sat me down and they were like, okay, we're going crazy. Um, from one tournament to a meet to mm -hmm. just driving back and forth. Um, and I have younger siblings who are getting into their own sports. And right. I think it just became very overwhelming. So they're <laughs> like, which one do you love? <laughs> which one do you think you're going to take all the way? Um, and I said volleyball. Um, it started off as a connection with my mom. My mom played in high school, mm -hmm. so I wanted to be like my mom right. um, so much. And um, that's what motivated me to start playing volleyball. And um, when I was 14, I joined my first club, um, 14's year. And it's become a whirlwind ever since, um, mm -hmm. from club tournaments over out of state every weekend, um, straight into volleyball season at schools. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been, it's been a good ride. But 14, 14 is when I decided it all. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And uh, you finished up a marketing degree earlier this year, mm -hmm. and you have a degree. Uh, now you're working on a master's degree. So I just want you to tell uh, the prospective students uh, what they can expect at HCU and why they should apply here. I'd say at um, home. Um, the amount of friends and mentors I've made on campus that have made my time here at HCU one in a lifetime. And I think that's what any person would expect here. Um, just a home, Find, finding your niche of people that just um, make your time here spectacular. And HCU Volleyball will begin Southland Conference play very shortly. And you can catch them at Sharp Gym heading into October and November. And a lot going on at HCU Athletics. Uh, the, football, the football game against Nichols, the HCU Athletic Alumni event on October 8th, and then homecoming on October 15th against Northwestern State. Uh, you can find all the information on HCU Athletics at hcuhuskies.com. The new Twitter handle is at HCU Athletics. And the number for the ticket office is 281 Six four nine three one four three. I want to thank you, Jada, so much for for joining us here today and, and taking your time out of your your class schedule and, and mm -hmm. preparing for for a match. And just good luck to you the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you. Thumbs up. <laughs> I want to thank everyone for joining us here on Think About It, and we'll see you again on the next edition. I'm Russ Renault saying thank you and dogs up. <laughs>